Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learnt early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> As I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed, and it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Should not be much longer. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. We don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will this hear it? I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot.
You wouldn't kill a defenseless man. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't? They'll know. Them. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. <laughs> Careful, gents. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. It would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Aw, why's you always gotta go and spore to spore? a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with.
soldiers running around all over the shop. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you'll need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanye and Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. 